Hold on, I was not expecting that film. God, dog. Hey man, first and foremost, let me apologize, bro. Guess who's back? <laughs> hey man, first of all, let me apologize, man. My phone died on me, bro. I thought I had this thing charging. I could have sworn that this thing was charging. So I apologize. We not ending this. We could talk. We chopping it up. If y'all can tell me what. What are those questions? I know that I had one question about starting the YouTube channel and how many fragrances I think somebody should have. I'm gonna go ahead and answer that one first. Yeah, I don't. Where, where, my, I don't have my mic. Let me know if the audio is good for y'all. My mic. I had to take that off so I can hook up my charger. So let me know if the audio is good, and then we'll go ahead and keep it rocking. If the audio is good, I'm gonna just keep flowing like this. Audio good? Bet. We're going to keep it popping. All right. So, first of all, as far as starting the channel, I'll say this. No matter what you're going to talk about, make sure that it's something that you enjoy and make sure that it's something that you can see yourself long-term doing. I'm telling you right now, fam, YouTube is a marathon. That shit is not a race. You're not competing against other people. You're literally competing against the content that you posted previously. Every time you post a video, you want your P, you want your audience to see that you're improving, that you're getting better, that you're making changes somewhere, and that you have an actual desire for whatever topic you're talking about. You don't have to love it. If it's something that you're more so of a hobbyist with, that's fine. But you have to be interested in the topic that you're talking about. Otherwise, people can really scent your energy and how you come off on camera. They can pick that up if you're just doing it for the money or if you're doing it because it's something that you truly do enjoy to do. And then as far as as far as how many um, how many fragrances somebody somebody have. Bro, me, I probably had maybe a hundred fragrances at the most when I first started this channel. Now I have close to like 300 fragrances. It's a couple of things that you're going to understand if you decide to go into fragrances specifically. You need to understand this. The more bottles that you already have starting out, the more content you can kind of create. You can kind of go ahead and do reviews like how I did my gas or trash. Or if you want to do a list, that's fine. But the only thing is, it's hard to do a top 10 list when you don't have that many fragrances. A lot of my lists, I keep them between like five to seven. Just because me editing, I do all my editing myself. So it is somewhat time consuming. Like, bro, check me out. Just to record a video and then edit a video. That is at least, at least, fam, an hour and a half, bro. One video, fam, and... This is the part of the YouTube thing that people don't tell you and that you don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go myself first. I work two jobs, fam. I work seven to three at one, four to eleven at the other. I have to keep my schedule impeccable in order to create content. Like I'm talking about, I have to damn near create my schedule for the whole month. That way I can kind of get an idea of when I'm going to film, 
when I'm going to edit, what type of content I'm going to have created throughout the month. It's a lot, fam. You have to be on top of your time, especially depending on your work situation. Like me, I try to re now I'm trying to record on the weekends because that's what I have the most time. And I have to try to edit literally all in one day, especially if I want all of the content to be coming out to y'all. Adidas, what up, fam? Hey, you know I'm ready for that McAllen tournament. What up, dog? Um, bro, how do you have time? MGS, bro, I'm telling you, fam, I literally on Saturdays and Sundays, I have to sit down. I have to already have my scripts, everything already written out. That way when I start, I can just record and go. Once, it, once I'm done recording my five videos, I edit. Once I edit, I can I can do all that in a day, but it would be best if I don't have anything going on that day because if I got something going on later on that night, it could be interfered with my YouTube. I'm doing my YouTube first. I've learned to put that first. I prioritize that because I do enjoy this and I do have a certain goal with this that I want to obtain. But yeah, fam, just, just know it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. And then it's also a lot of mind games that get played too because you kind of get in your own head when you're, you're creating content and you think the con that the content is much better than what the numbers are showing. And sometimes, honestly, that's just how it pans out. Like you can't get into your head. You can't get upset because you might think, oh, YouTube isn't pushing me. Because when you look at your analytics, you will see that YouTube is pushing you. You just don't have the retention rate for them to continue to push you like you would want them to. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, fam. It's definitely a lot of work, bro. Um, I like rep. I like rep shoe reviews, bro. My wife thinking about buying some from that site. Rep shoes. That one is a good one to get into because that's starting to grow more and more throughout the year. Now. As far as the rep shoes, one thing that I will say with the rep shoes is this. You can do it. I want you to understand this now, fam. Out of all the rep shoes that got sent to me, I have not paid for a single one. Literally, all you have to do with the rep sneakers is have you a social following that's big enough, whether that's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. I would advise starting off with YouTube or IG. Probably IG first, just because that's where you can find more of the companies at. But yeah, yeah, IG would be a great place to start if you wanted to get into the rep sneakers because they reached out to me. Jonathan over at Good Kick is RRU. He was the first one to reach out to me. He sent me like three pairs of shoes. Every single one of them here from Good Kicks out are you. I would literally buy those shoes because you can't tell the difference. As somebody who used to work at a champ from 2009 to 2016, I think I, I think I know shoes. So when I'm telling you that the quality on a lot of these reps that I've been getting are up to par, they are on standard. Fam, I rock these every day. And can't nobody tell the difference. I get hella compliments on them. And not a single person has asked me, oh, you rocking reps? No, fam, it don't happen like that. Now, I will say this. I haven't been, I would never go to a sneaker event wearing reps. I wouldn't do that because they just take the shit too serious. But like casual, everyday people, they don't ask you about that stuff. They, damn, I like your shoes. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. And you keep it moving from that. That's literally all it is. What else you got? Yeah, it's long work to edit, etc. That's why I couldn't continue my channel. Working every day to do take all of my time, but I have time to still go in lives and share chat, etc. with people. That is very true, man. Joel is letting y'all know right now, bro. This is not. You got to have time, fam. You got to be able to commit to it. I wish, I wish, fucking uh, Jeremy was up here right now. I'd invite Jeremy up here. Let me see. Let me text my guy real quick. He might be able to join this live. I don't know if he up, though. He might be at work on the cool. But yeah, fam, it's, it, 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 you can definitely start a channel. You don't even have to have your fragrances in the background. Like a lot of people do their videos without fragrances in the background. So you never know 
how many they have. I don't even know why I got my shit set up like this. This is just the best way I could think about it. But I do like how Jensen has that new minimalistic, very just plain background. Like, I, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy that. I might try to move into that, that type of setup. I definitely might try to move. Hey, chat, best jazz club clone. MGS wants to know who has the best jazz club clone, which I think. I know Joel gonna know. I know Danny gonna know for damn. So, Flicky, I seen Flicky in a couple of comment sections. Flicky might know too, bro. You really gotta ask around. Boy, I'm running through all my matches, man. It should take too many matches. Holla at me, man. Y'all got any questions? Y'all wanna chop it up real quick? I wanna try to get, excuse me. What the hell is that in my head? Boy, why y'all ain't telling me nothing? Else? Why y'all ain't telling me I have some white in my head? What? We supposed to be fellas, man. We supposed to be cool. Y'all supposed to look out for me on stuff like that now. Bro, I might have to go get an actual lighter for this. But... Let me know what y'all think, man. You gave your son some sense. Bruh, listen to me when I say this. You want to, MGS, you want to know the one fragrance that my son wants so bad, which I think is hilarious, fam. But every time we go to the rack store, because I do take him with me when I do my rack store shopping, the one fragrance, it's two of them, actually. It's two fragrances that this little boy wants. He wants Curve Green. And he wants curve black. Damn. When I told you, when I tell you, I don't know what it was. It was just like a proud moment came over me. Because I know the first time I ever remember smelling a fragrance was that curve green. And it was in middle school the first time I smelt it. I thought that was the best fucking thing since sliced bread. But I really thought that it was the best thing. And now to be more mature and have my nose on other scents. But to know that my son wants that scent to start off with, hey, it's a proud moment, fam. I ain't gonna lie, dog. <laughs> ear to ear, fam. Proud moment, dog. I was real happy about that one. But I do have a couple of scents for him. Um, the Alpha Romero line, they have a couple of fragrances. Like, they have a green, blue, and a red one. The No, no, a uh, red, blue, and a black one. The blue one kind of comes off like Blue Day Chanel. The red one has a little bit of fruits in it, so it's going to give him a different taste of, like, a fruit type of fragrance. And then the black one is just dark, masculine, somewhat helps him get into a little bit more of the leather type of fragrances. So I do have a few scents that I am going to let him just dive straight into and let him enjoy. But, like, big boy shit, big boy shit. Boy, I thought I broke this. Big boy shit, he just, he, he gonna have to wait, dog. He gonna have to wait, fam. I can't, I can't just introduce him like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get him right. But, well, I, I gotta let him know, man. It's levels to this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it really is level. You all tried that rock by wood intense. Got it right here, fam. Got it right here. It's not bad, but I will say this. It's really sweet. It's extremely sweet. Has a nice woody concept to it, but if I'm just being honest, though, you could probably skip this one. I do think that whatever this one might be cloning, they probably have better options out there. Now, this one might be the cheapest option because I think I got this one for under 20. This one might definitely be the most affordable option. But as far as like, I think this one's like a buy, buy the fireplace clone. I would like to say that there are going to be other fragrances out there that clone that is cloning, whatever this is. I do think that there are other ones out there, but this one is just okay. It's okay. It kind of, that sweetness kind of gets to me when I wear this one. That's why I don't wear it as much. That sweetness kind of just gets to me, man. Nice. All the shorty bro. <laughs> bro, big facts, NGS. I know you had that shit on in middle school because you already know the ladies in middle school, they was loving that. But before we knew anything about any of these other fragrances, 
Kerr was literally that first fragrance for a lot of guys when it came to getting into rocking cologne and fragrances. It was really Curb that started it. Now the longevity isn't bad on it. It's gonna be around that seven, eight hour range. You're definitely gonna get good longevity out of it. But as far as like smell, like I said, that sweetness that it has, especially once it starts to hit that mid and dry down, it's just, it's just not good for me. It's not good for me, I'm just saying. Axe was my face fragrance. Bro, one of my first fragrances, it wasn't a curb. That was just one of the first ones that I smelled. But the first fragrance that I ever owned, I think I still have it, if I'm just being honest. I remember getting, I remember my uncle gave me Clinique Happy for me. I was happy to sell it by that one. Orange, a lot of citruses. It was easy for me to get into that one. The second one was, um, Kenneth Cole reaction, the green apple joint. High school, that was a, I, I was a big fan of that one. I was rocking that one down there every day in high school. I was nice with that one. But the first one that I just truly remember buying, fam, was really bought for men, the black edition. That's I still, if somebody was to spray that right now, I would know exactly what that is. That bod for black, that bod black for men was just that fragrance for me. I can spray that. I remember spraying that shit on the dates. Hey, well, I'm going to the movies, skate rink. I would spray that bod for men on. That was that was just my shit. That was my shit. Bro, my mom bought me Stetson. I was pissed. Hey, at least she didn't buy you joke. Gotta look at the goods, man. At least she didn't buy you joke. Or joke, joke, J O O P. I hate that one. I hate that one with a passion. I don't even know why they made that one. I'm old then. As a teenager, my first, I was wearing Drake. <laughs> Age of well, I ain't gonna lie, man. You, you an OG in the game to be rocking that in them teenage years. Yeah, you definitely an OG in the game. I gotta give you that one. Yeah, Bob used to be fire. I have all three. <laughs> nah, so, I know that's slick. Flicky, I'm telling you, bro, them bod, that bod black was my shit. That was the main one that I wore. I wore that bod black literally like religious, fam. I wore that bod black all the time. Perry Ellis was a good one, too. Um, I think I had, I think I had the silver one. Similar to the black, where it has that cap, you know, it's like a rectangular shape. I think I had the silver one in that one. I didn't have the black until later on, but... Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad, man. Paul Sebastian was low key decent. Hey, you want to know who else got some decent fragrances that you can pick up on the rack store? Mark Jacobs. Now, I'm not saying you just got to go out and buy, but they have some surprisingly great unboxed fragrances at the rack store. A lot of them do have like an Invictus type of feel to it, but it's still nice, though. I, I rock with it heavy. Hidden gems is. In the building, what up, fam? Hey, we just we just chopping up at this point. We went over um the Saruti eighteen eighty one line. We went over Blanc, Black, Essential, and Saruti eighteen eighty one, the original. Um, they straight, bro. They straight. The the Essential was my favorite one because it has a lot of citruses in it, a little bit of ever in the dry down. Blanc was probably my second, highly aromatic. Black was okay but I've smelled cheaper versions of it. It's not really worth it like that. And then the 1881, the original, is cool, but none of these are worth just absolutely going out the blind buy right now. Sample it, get you a decant, but it's nothing just too serious. <laughs> that was a cliff note of what we talked about here in gym. Yeah, the 360 wasn't that bad. Joe? And Brut was a cat daddy fragrance. I don't know about that one, MG. I don't know about that one. Hey, MGS. I don't know about that one, man. You got to... I, I, I'm not going to knock the history. All I'm saying is that for me, Joe... <laughs> Joe smelled like more medicine than anything, man. I just can't rock with it, dog. But I ain't knocking your experience with it. I'm just telling you my, 
my take on it it's, it's not that it's not that i can't do that one. i can't do the joke i can't do the joke i do i do cough syrup on my body before i do joke what else we got man i was thinking about it's crazy that not nigel hole in the wall frame hey for damn sure hey definitely a hole in the wall fragrance Hey, I was thinking about doing the teenage fragrance line video of like some of the right store fragrances for my fellas that got kids that are looking to get into fragrances and you don't want to spend that crazy amount of money on them. Cause trust me, I get it. My son don't need to be wearing, he nine, bro. He don't need to be wearing no Dior Sauvage and shit. Bro, if you don't get this penguin blend and get out of my face, this one isn't bad. This is probably my favorite one. Dark. Got a little, I think this one has leather in it. Yeah, I like the pink one line fam. This, these are my, these are scents that I like to wear to the gym. This one's a little bit different, a little bit flat. This one right here is very spicy, very fresh, aromatic -y, more so green and herbal than anything. Like, bro, I'm buying my son shit like this first, bro. And the Nautica line, Nautica Voyage, I would literally get my son Nautica N83 and Nautica Voyage Heritage. He would be set with those two. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, MGS, you just you just said it. Fragrances like those are dope for kids. And then because it allows them to, one, gain experience with it, one, gain confidence with it. Because your first time wearing something, you're probably going to be walking around like, can somebody smell me? Am I offensive? Do I smell good to other people? They're going to be too much. To me, they're going to be too much in their head thinking about other people more so than just enjoying the experience. So for me, I'm cool with giving my son like those type of fragrances. You know, his confidence is through the fucking roof right now. But I would enjoy giving my kid those type of fragrances. Um, Nautica, somebody said, uh, Hollis the Wave, bruh. If you can get Hollister Wave, Hollister Wave 2 and Free Wave, your kid literally got three dope fragrances that they can use during spring, summertime. With me being in Texas, they can also use it during fall. Those fragrances are good, and I still rock those to the gym. Tommy Summer. If you can get into the Tommy Summer line, that would be a dope line for kids. Um, What was the other one? Not, I, I just wore that one today. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein has a dope summer line that you can get into that the kids would enjoy. All these fragrances that I mentioned, you can all pick them up at the rack store for less than 20 bucks. You can buy the whole line for less than 50. I'm just saying, bro, you don't have to break your break it. You don't have to break the bank, especially when it comes to the kids, because they're still gaining that experience with it. They don't really have that same confidence when it comes to wearing those new things like we do. I don't know about that one, MGS. I ain't buying that pocket spray of the, of the polo club, eh? You might, that's for somebody else. I don't know if I can do that one. I can't set my son up like that. You know what I'm saying? But I can still get him right, though. Joke was big in Houston because it smelled like scissor. It smelled like drink they used to. Yeah, I can see that. It's hella sweet like it, too. A lot of nerve in uh, Nautica for the kids. Talking about oldies. What's the oldest bottle you still got? I'll show it to you, fam. Hold on for a while. I gotta go get it. But I do. Well, I'll show y'all. I got. I, I, I still got it. Let me go get it. I got two of them. All right, fam. So the first bottle, the first bottle is going to be. <sighs> hey, MGS. Hey, I, I get it, fam. I get, I get what you're saying. I'm just, I don't know if I can get into that one. But this one right here, this was my, this was like the one. I think this. I'm pretty sure this is the one that my uncle gave me. Clinique Happy for Men. I still have this one. 
Still got a little bit of juice in there. I wear it every once in a while for like nostalgia reasons, but this one right here. And then my second oldest bottle, I don't know where it's at, but give y'all a little insight about me. I graduated in 2009. For prom that year, that was my first time buying like a high-end designer fragrance. And at that time, remember this was in 2009, my uncle, this, my, both of my uncles suggested that I get that JPG, the original. So for my prom, I was walking, I was rocking that John Paul Gaultier, the original, and I still have that bottle to this day. I'm scared to spray it because I don't know what the hell it's going to smell like. Bro, the cap don't even work on it. Like, the atomizer actually came off of it. But I still have that bottle from 2009 that... Yeah, that these two, Clinique Happy for Men and that bottle of JPG, those are probably my two oldest fragrances, fam. I gotta say that. We around the same age. I graduated in 2010. All right, Flicky. See, I'm 32. I went to Head Start School. I was supposed to graduate in 2010. I started Head Start, though. So shout out to my mom for putting me in there. Hey man, hold on, man. Hold on, man. I know y'all not in my comment section arguing about. <laughs> I know y'all not in there arguing about Beverly Hills versus Axe. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Hey, hey, it ain't that serious. But I will say this. Axe is Axe is pretty top notch when it comes to those early fragrances, bro. I don't know, man. Axe is up there. I don't. I don't know. I, I, I might. Have, I might I might be on fleek I might be on MGS side with this one cuz X is pretty nice for what you paying and what you get, especially if you're a teenager. You really can't go wrong with some X, man. Middle school, you really can't go wrong with X. That'll be a nice introduction. And then it'll give you opportunities to grow as people notice that you're that guy that wears clone. Cause you don't I'm telling you right now, the last thing you want to do is be in middle school and start off with some shit like Layton. Cause then you gotta keep it up. But if you can start off with something like some Axe, work your way to some Nautica, work your way to some Tommy, then you start getting into like the Dolce and the, the higher end, Savard, stuff like that, you got to give yourself wiggle room to grow, fam. If you hit them hard out the gate, that's just what they're going to expect. And you got to keep that shit up. And when you get grown enough to buy your own fragrances, who's to say your pocket's going to be up to par? That's all I'm saying. Hey, hey fam, you ain't gotta worry about me buying no um no Beverly Hills. I'm cool on that. I relax on the Beverly Hills Club fragrances. Big relax on those. But what's up, man? Do y'all have what up, Kelly? I apologize. I didn't mean to miss your comment. Definitely didn't mean. I'm just not seeing it. What up, Kelly? Glad to have you in here, fam. What was your center today? What was you rocking? Y'all got any more questions? Y'all want to talk about anything? If not, we'll probably wrap it up in a few minutes. But let me know what y'all think. Hey, now on the cool, because MGS just said something that was very important, fam. Very important. Hold on. I'm going to say this right now. Now, if y'all want to get y'all kids started, y'all son started on a fragrance that's very, that's nice, bro. Bath and Body Work got some amazing fragrances, but Marble right now. Marble, I like this one. I do enjoy this one. I might write this tomorrow. Yes, fam, I'm telling you, Marble is in that, it's in that same vein as like a Tommy Summer type of fragrance. Um, very nice, high on those aquatic, high on those citruses. They have this one. Bath and Body Work got a couple of dope fragrances. Personally, though, I would only say check out Bath and Body fragrances when they got that sale. You know what sale I'm talking about. It's like buy two, get one free. Buy three, get two free type of thing. When they have those, then that's when I would really stock up. But if you want to get your kids started off on something nice that's a little bit more outside of rack store fragrances, 
Bath and Body Works fam. MGS literally just said it. Right. Bath and Body Works got some dope fragrances. You really can't go wrong with it. Marble is my favorite one because it does have that summertime high heat type of situation. It's just nice for me. Whereas some of the ones that I can get at the rack store is definitely going to be hit or miss. Yes, like you said, fam, Bath and Body Works is really good. Joel, you're going to have to leave that Draker in the war alone, man. <laughs> hey, you might have to leave that one alone, my guy. Come on, man. Come on, now. My oldest bottles, preferred stock, Brunt and Even Collection, edition of Star Trek fragrances called Turbulous. Yeah, fam. Hey, me, MGS, me and you both, fam. Me and you both be right there. I, I, I haven't smelled that one. I haven't smelled that one. One fragrance that I'm still trying to get my hands on is two of them, actually. Gucci Intense Oud. I'm still trying to get that one, family. I'm still trying to get that one. But then the other one is um One Million Privé. Dog, I need to get those two ASAP. I wanted to get the Luminous Night. I wanted to get the Luminous Night, but once I got that decant and then I was able to actually purchase this one, I was cool with this one, bro. I don't need Luminous Night no more. I'll get a 10, I might get a 10 ml decant of Luminous Night, but outside of that, I'm going to just stick with Moonlit Night, bro. I'm cool with this one. I don't have to. I don't have to do nothing crazy. I'm cool with that one. I don't know work out for me. Bro, do you still have those Swiss Arabian fragrances? Do you still wipe your ass when you shit? Come on, man. Stop, stop playing with me, man. MGS, I thought we was cool. I thought we was better than this, fam. Low key. Come on now, MGS. We better than this, man. We better than this, dog. One man prebate is expensive. There's a clone. Ask me. Yeah, I know. Need know a lot of But on that one, I really want to get the original fam. I'm not even gonna hold it. I want to get prebay off rip and then I'll dive into some clones. But I really want that prebate. But yes, MGS fam, this right here. You can still get this on sale on Joma Shop for 40 bucks, bro. I would definitely dive into this one. This one is probably my favorite one. Spring, summertime, high heat situation is very nice. This one, I think, had to grow on me a little bit. One of these had to grow on me. I don't remember it, Rick, which one exactly. The best one to me is this one. But then they do have these two. One of them has a rose note in it that's somewhat sickening to me. So that one I'm not that big of a fan on. Fuck it, but you're gonna have to have me open this thing. But I did do a first impression over this whole set though. Definitely did. I think this was the one I did. Shit, boy. Bro, my nose, man. My nose started burning on that one ASAP. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one you might have to let grow on. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, bro. This one is okay. This old one, though. This old one is dope, especially if you like Middle Eastern style fragrances. This one is definitely in that Middle Eastern style fragrance vein. Do you hide fragrances from your significant other? Hey, fam, look. <laughs> one thing about my lady. She know that I got a YouTube channel, and she know that I talk about B.O.B. fragrances. So for the most part, a lot of the fragrances that I purchase, they're under that $40 because that's what I try to present to the audience. So I really don't have no issues when it comes to that, like, especially because some of the fragrances that I do pick up, she can end up wearing. Like, bruh, she can wear this one. She cool with that. She can wear this one. Like a lot of, a couple of the fragrances, she can wear this one. A couple of the fragrances that I have, she can wear these. 
like a couple of the ones that I have, she can she can rock too. So for her, when she sees that I got a new fragrance, one she waits to see if she can smell it in the air. But then if it's something that she likes, she it's cool for her because she knows she can rock it too. Only problem is, bro, she be running through bottles like a motherfucker, man. She done ran through a hundred ml and a sixty ml already of two Middle Easterns. I'm like, yo, man, you gotta slow down. I know you ain't got a collection like me, but you got to slow down a little bit. I don't know how many sprays you doing on yourself. Um, how is the longevity on the new fragrance? This one isn't bad, fam. This one isn't bad. Extremely sweet. I'll give it around that six, seven hour mark, but it's still nice, bro. Definitely, definitely nice. And it is in that vein of like a niche type of fragrance, bro. But this one's unisex for sure. Definitely sweet. You have to be comfortable with yourself as a man to pour this off because this one's gonna get put you in that same ballpark as like a herbal pura in the sense of like how fruity, unisex, musk how it's going to come off. It's going to be in that same vein. So if you can rock with that one, then you can definitely, you know what I mean? You can definitely be good. I like it for sure. Fun day type of scent, out and about doing fun stuff. I'm not rocking that to work. But if I'm doing fun, out and about, definitely got some ladies around me, <laughs> that one's cool. Sound like my wife, bro. She run through her bottle. Fam, I don't know what to do, bro. I bought her... I bought her like three bottles, thinking they all gonna be straight. You know what I'm saying? Thinking they gonna be straight, Bruh, A month, fam. These bottles ain't even lasting a month, dog. And she don't wear fragrances like I do, but she wear them, and I'm happy that she's into them. But I just need to see what her routine is, cause bro, she doing too many sprays. She doing too many sprays, man. I think she's spraying more than me and me, and I do a lot. I just don't spray on my head like me, but I I spray myself a lot of times when I rock my fragrances. Best lady fragrance. Um, you know what? I must say, fam, there's this one chick at my gym that I work out at. She always wears, because I had to ask her, because it just caught me one day. She always wears Burberry, I think it's, Burberry for women, Burberry Brit. It's it's a Burberry type of fragrance, but she always wears it. How almost has like a Baccarat 540 type of DNA. Amazing, fam. Now she's she's Hispanic, I think. Shit smells phenomenal on her. It just smells phenomenal in, in the air. Now for me, if I had a and then a sister that I was talking to at work today. I forgot what she had on. She had on a BR type of clone. It was a BR540 clone. But I, me and her was talking. I was like, yo, you should really, if you want a good BR clone, you should really check this one out. Come to find out her sister just bought this one for her today. She recognized it because of the cap. Very nice, fam. If you, if you trying to get BR540 for your lady, but you ain't got the BR540 budget, fam, just go with this one. She ain't going to know the difference once you spray it. Blind, uh, first of all, have her put on a blindfold and then spray it if you think she might have a problem with it. Because I promise you, they're going to smell the same. And then this one right here, this is Latafa Royal Blend. This one is sweet and spicy. But this one to me smells like if y'all have ever been around a sister that uses natural hair products. That's what this one smells like. This one smells phenomenal on the sister to me, bro. This one smells phenomenal on sister. So I, bro, you got to go just to get this one. Like Latapa Royal Blends, nutmeg, a little bit of spice, but it has a lot of fruits up top, a little bit of musk. Very nice, fam. Y'all, I would advise get this one under $20. Get this one for your lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you going you gonna, to you gonna see. <laughs> Um, what else? My wife only likes Paris Hilton, and I want her to try a new one. Jim, MGS fam, I'm telling you, if you want her to try some new ones, this one right here, very similar to um, Amber Oud Gold Edition, 
Herba Pure. Go with this one, fam. Very soft. That has a lot of fruits, a lot of musk. Very sweet. Hell, but if she don't like it, you can wear this one. Because I be rocking the hell out of mine. Just try that one. Um, If you do have a sister, like if it's a sister, I would advise these two as well. These two as well, bro. This one right here, coconut. Just very nice, fam. If you go on Triple Traders, Triple Traders has a bundle to where you can get this one and the original for like 35 bucks. This one for you, this one for her. I'm telling you, fam. TripleTraders.com got you taken care of with bundles. I would advise getting this one for my lady as well. But then, like I said, bro, if you got a sister for sure, check her, check this one out. This Royal Blends. This Royal Blends is nice to me. She's your curly fragrance. Uh, <laughs> hey, bro. Curly fragrance be spraying the hell out of herself. I don't, I think she sprays more than me and me, but hey, whatever works, works. I overpaid for Ariana Cloud EDP. And, bro, I'm telling you, fam, I got you lace. You don't never have to overpay on a fragrance when you follow D4G. Because I would have I, I told y'all rip. If she wanted that BR, you could have just went with this one. This one's $16.99 on Joma Shop. You could have bought both of these for $30, and you would have been straight. I have the original. Now, since we're already talking about this one, fam, hear me out. I've told y'all. Not the road, but these two, Ana Abadai, I Am White, and Ana Abadai Leather. These, are, to me, are two phenomenal fragrances that are great for layering. I layer the hell out of this one. And let me tell y'all the combination that I just layered it with that I'm, 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 I'm completely falling in love with. I took Ana Abadai, I Am White, and I decanted it. And I mixed it with Ben Sherman's signature. This one has ozonic notes in it. This one has that leather, darkness, woods. This one's fruity, extremely sweet, playful up top. Bro, I mix, where's my damn decan at? I mix these two in a five ml decan. Here it is right here. I mix these two in a five ml decan. Oh my gosh, fam. Oh my god, dog. Uh, I'm gonna say this one for the weekly wears. I'm not gonna say too much. But this one right here was like 15 bucks. This one right here was 10 bucks at a rack store. I'm telling you right now, if you can find these two, mix them together, dog. Get you a 5 ml decant. Like the one I got, I think I got this one from um Timu. It's like two bucks, fam. It's actually not that bad. Look, that's the worst part about it. I hate how it sprays because it kind of does like a poof type of spray. And I need a spray that's actually going to get to my skin and stick. This one, it hits the skin, but because of how it just dispersed everything so wide, it doesn't really just sit on you like fragrances in a bottle. I hope that made sense. Somebody asked me, what are my thoughts on leather? Leather is good, but it is not the type of fragrance that you wear by itself. Leather is not the type of fragrance that you would want to wear by itself. You would have to want to, you would want to mix this one with something that's a little bit more fruity, a little bit more sweet. A little bit more of something that you don't like that's feminine that you want to add a masculine tone to it. I would literally buy the leather to buy as a layering scent because by itself, I really can't see too many people enjoying it by itself. I'm a fan of leather and it's hard for me to wear this one by itself, but I can wear it when I'm mixing it with other fragrances. This one, even though I do enjoy layering it, I can really just rock this one by itself. Fam. It's that good. This leather in I am white is not the same. Le Solo or layering? Really just layering with this one. 
I smell has showed up. What up, my guy? What up, I smell? Hey, everybody show some love to my guy, Mike, man. Make sure y'all show him some love, show him support. Definitely go check out his channel as well. That's another one of my fragrance YouTube brethren. And he definitely does his thing. He definitely does his thing and posts good content as well. So check that out. Yeah, Nigel, I am right. I rock that solo, fam. There's no need to layer it. But it is a great fragrance for layering, especially at the cost that you get it. Um, Hawass or Hayati? I did a video on both of those. I did, and, I, and I did a um, a versus battle between Hayati and Hawass. I'm going to let you know right now. It's Hawass all day. There isn't a fragrance that is cloning Invictus that has the body, the projection, the quality, and the smell that Hawass has. If you're not, if you want Hawass or you want Invictus, I would advise getting Hawass. If your budget might not be up to par to get the Hawass, high IT black, you can go with this one, or you can go with Nasdia. Either one of these two will work. If you want a little bit more sweetness, I would say go with this one. If you want a little bit more maturity, I would say go with this one. But either one of them, you can't go wrong with it, especially if you're trying to get that Invictus type of DNA. Mm. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what we got, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all got any more questions. We've been we've been rocking for damn two hours. So <laughs> hey, I do think we can dial it back a little bit, but let me know. If y'all still rocking, we can rock out a little bit longer. I have no complaint. Besides my drinking law, I probably need to go stock up on that. Yeah, this shit I ain't got nothing else up enough. But let me know what y'all think, man. Pacific cannabis. Hey. <laughs> yes. Yes, fam. You gotta be a fan of cannabis. Now I will say this. Baxter of California, they only have like three fragrances. They only have three fragrances, I think. And most of their fragrances are around 98 bucks. Is Pacific Cannabis worth 98 bucks? That would be for you to decide. Me, personally, I would wait for a sale. If they have a sale, if I can find Baxter, California on a sale, I would definitely pick it up. But the way this one comes off, this one is absolutely worth it, fam. I was getting... Hella compliments with this one. And for this to be a cannabis note, and for everybody to enjoy it, they couldn't tell that it had cannabis in it until I told them that it had cannabis in it. Then they was able to pick it up. But when you rock it, you can pick up that cannabis. But it's more so complimented by the aquatic sense, the citruses, so many other things that this fragrance has in it. I'm two for two in my cannabis sense so far. Definitely two for two. Swiss Arabian Casablanca EDP is unisex but perfect for women. There you go. There you go. Hey, but no more questions, no more concerns. We're definitely going to keep it rocking. We're going to probably get up out of here in a little bit. Again, milestone, if y'all if y'all do see these at y'all rock store, these are pretty dope. I would say pick them up, but you can smell them first because they're unboxed fragrances. Today we went over the Cerruti 1881 line. We talked about Cerruti Black, 1881, Blanc, and we talked about Essential. Essential was my favorite one out of the four, but I would still say definitely sample first before you just buy Black blind buy um if i had to rate them in order i would say essential best block second black third original fourth neither one of them are touching 1881 signature that's my favorite one from the whole line just ordered to back in paris corner 
Ombre Nomad clone. You have any thoughts on any of these? Um, tobacco. I already told you my thoughts on that one. You do have to enjoy that peach. The tobacco is nice, but you definitely have to be a fan of peach in order to truly enjoy that one. If you don't like peach, don't waste your money on it. Um, Ombre Nomad clone. I don't know about that one. I really haven't heard too much about that one. Um, that's going to be one of those things where you really going to have to let me know your thoughts on that one, fam, because I haven't tried it yet. I will say that I'm ready no man. It's okay. Um, I'm just not a big fan of bros like that, dog. That rose knows be making me sick to my stomach. Damn, Joel don't beat me to the punch. <laughs> hey, this is up, man. That's, uh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that y'all be, uh, I like that y'all like those sayings like that. I, I really do. Um, I appreciate that. But look, I appreciate the support. We was rocking our heavy for two hours. I appreciate everybody that stopped by and showed me love. Y'all know I would not be here right now if it wasn't for y'all. So I definitely appreciate it. I'm definitely grateful from everybody that came in to show love. Y'all know how we do this. I think I'm going to start doing more live streams more often. And honestly, these live streams... I'm going to bring them forward to present fragrance lives to y'all. But at the same time, we really have a dope time just chopping it up and talking. I think that this live stream could be something to where we really just have a conversation and sit down and talk about fragrances. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. I might pull one of y'all up and we just sit down and talk. Me and Harris might have a sit down and talk one of these days. So we'll definitely keep the live stream going. Cause I, I enjoy this. Y'all was cracking me up in the comment section. Y'all, y'all got some characters up in there. I appreciate that, man. But hey, like my guy Joel said, y'all already know what it is, man. We about to get up out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all know how it is, man. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on the square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it. Damn. D4G truly blessed. That's it for greatness. We out. Now I got to get up and turn this damn thing off. But y'all get what I'm saying? We out of here.